On the Health Watch tonight, there have been almost 700 measles cases identified in the U.S. so far this year, the highest number since the disease was declared to be eradicated back in 2000. And it's leading a lot of people to wonder whether they need a booster to stay protected. Dr. Malika is here now, and uh, for kids, it seems pretty straightforward, but for adults... A different story. Different story. Kids, straightforward. Yeah. They need two MMR vaccines, usually the first one given at age one, the second one okay. given around age four. So make sure your kids are up to date. For adults, again, it's a little more complicated. If you were before, born before 1957, it is assumed that you were immune because measles was a lot more common back then. Okay. If you were born after 1957, you really should try to find documentation of at least one measles containing vaccine. If you're just not sure and you can't find that documentation you have two choices you can either have your doctor do a blood test to make sure you're immune to measles okay. or probably more easily you can just go ahead and get an MMR vaccine if you had one recently it's not gonna hurt you you can get it from your doctor you can go to your local CVS or Walgreens just go ahead and get vaccinated now people who are at higher risk like those who are going to college or healthcare workers or international travelers they really should have two MMR vaccines at least 28 days apart and once you are vaccinated you are considered immune for life okay well happy wife happy life you know that saying and researchers say they have data now to support the old adage doctor perhaps the saying should be happy partner longer life that's, is that how it goes that's right it doesn't rhyme it's not as no, cute it but <laughs> this was a new study in psychological science and they found that having a happy wife or a happy husband okay. or a happy life partner might make you live longer researchers looked at data on 4400 couples in the united states people over the age of 50 and they found that people with happy partners at the beginning of the study were less likely to die over the next eight years compared to those who had less happy partners regardless of their socioeconomic status regardless of their baseline hmm. health and they found that a spouse's life satisfaction was probably had a greater influence than your own interest life satisfaction now the theory is people who are happy tend to eat healthier they get better sleep they tend to be more active so if you have a happy active spouse chances are you're going to be more happy and active as well if you have a depressed spouse or one who turns to junk food one who just can't leave the house chances are that's how you're going to live your life as well so choose your partner wisely choose your partner wisely i that know you is did absolutely you're good for life francie you're the best she's not watching by the way she never watches but we still that's love a her. thing we love you, that's a thing but we love you francie